In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Glory, Glory to you, you Lord. O Lord. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zachariah. Once when he was serving as priest in his divisions turned before God, the angel of the Lord appeared to him. Standing at the right of the altar of incense, Zechariah was troubled by what he saw and fear came upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son, and you shall name him John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be a great in the sight of the Lord. He will drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will go before him in the, sp in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of fathers toward children and the disobedient to the understanding of the righteous to prepare a people fit for the Lord. And the angel said to him in reply, I am Gabriel who stand before God. I was sent to speak to you and to announce to you the good news. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and were amazed that he stayed so long in the sanctuary. But when he came out, he was unable to speak to them. And they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He was gesturing to them, but remained mute. Then when his days of ministry were completed, he went home. After this time, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she went into seclusion for, the, for five months, saying, So has the Lord done for me at the time when he has seen fit to take away my disgrace before others. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. 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 <clears throat> um, the three pointers, Italian. Pointers for today's Gospel. Number one, Zachary's questioning of a biological fact was construed as doubting the message of God in the angel's word, and he paid a heavy price for it. Number two, however, Elizabeth was filled with joy at the good news for the Lord has taken away her public humiliation of being able to bear any child. Number three, today we stand on the brink of the nativity of our Lord and Savior. Let us cast away all our doubts of God's infinite and unconditional love for us and focus our attention in showing our praise, reverence, and love for this infant Messiah who is about to transform our world from darkness to light and hope. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. <laughs> So I'm going to share to, to you a reflection from, from Marino, Das Marinias, no? Uh, very, 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 uh, very nice uh, reflection. Uh, it says here, how profound is your faith in the Lord? Kasi nga si Zakaria is nag-doubt siya, di ba? Sa, sa message. No? How profound is your faith in the Lord? Does your faith create awareness in you? that nothing is impossible with the Lord. We have in our gospel, Zechariah, a priest who is, at, who is in the twilight of his life. For the reason for his advanced age, 
Zechariah thought that he would never have a child until the Lord through an angel intervened and granted what he longs for. But Zechariah still did not believe. Nothing is impossible with God for those who believe. Unfortunately, Zechariah was deficient in, his, in this aspect. The possible for God was impossible for him. Considering that he is a priest, his faith seems to be shallow. But we can't blame Zechariah, for he was just being realistic. He and his wife Elizabeth were both old already. So how could his wife be pregnant? Once in a while, we also pass through this episode of unbelief and the lack of faith. Amidst this episode, let us not lose focus on the fact that nothing is impossible with the Lord for those who believe and have faith. We may have dreams or aspirations in life that may seem impossible, that may seem impossible for us to achieve, and we naturally doubt. But let us not doubt. Let us continue to silently work for that seemingly impossible dream. Then let us leave everything to the Lord's providence. Let us talk, let us ask him to bless and guide us as we aspire for this impossible dream. Do you believe that the Lord will give you what you've been praying for? If you believe and have a strong faith, you will have it. Amen. 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 Beautiful lesson, no? Beautiful lesson from the from this gospel, but with God nothing is impossible. But you know what? If you think about it, no, um, as human as we are, uh, and Zechariah, uh, Zechariah during that time, uh, just be realistic, no, just be realistic. Uh, how can he have a child? Na na both of them. Um, him and and uh, the wife Elizabeth are already uh, you know in the twilight of their of their age. That means the elderly. Um, pero ang ang elderly nila siguro is not as old as sa ngayon, kasi they they have different they follow different calendar iba ang calendar nila during that time. So siguro sa modern life natin no, baka baka sixties. Yun ang ano ko, yun ang ang personal guess ko na Elizabeth was um either either ano siya either late 50s siya or early 60s na makating ka talaga na impossible pero possible pa pala but but uh, ang lesson natin dito is um with God nothing is impossible with God nothing is impossible tapos ang ang, ang mali dito is um Ang mali dito is uh, Zechariah uh, had a doubt. Nag-doubt siya. Kaya um, he became mute. No? Inability to speak. Nag nagiging mute siya. That was, that was his punishment. Uh, that was his uh, punishment and the reminder. The reminder na, na nag-doubt can also, here you go. Magiging mute ka until the child is born. So, yun ang kwa natin, yun ang palagi na pray natin, with God, nothing is impossible, just have faith and claim it. And whatever you have, whatever problem you have, no, uh, not only problem, but mga aspirations and dreams natin, uh, we, we, sometimes we find it uh, impossible. With God, nothing is uh, impossible. Just, just, just pray and, and offer to Him whatever it is. Mga aspirations natin. Uh -oh. Amen. 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 Yeah. May share ako dyan sa iyo, Tita Bell, na, na, from Haro Cathedral. Oh. Ah, basahin natin. Ha, uh -oh. very nice din yan. Okay. Be altruistic. True happiness is never derived from what you have received, but by what you give. More than the gift you will share is the love that goes with it. 
Nothing can ever suffice a beggar's smile in being grateful for the coin you drop in his palms. Nothing can be warmer than the embrace you can offer to the one you haven't forgiven. Nothing can be more touching than gripping the hand of a sick friend who could no longer walk the way you still can. Leave your self-imposed solitary confinement. Share your life with those who long to be accompanied in their journey of struggles and sufferings. Allow them to feel your being human than just a human being. Share the most expensive prices that you can ever give. Your heart. God had nothing materially, but he gave something why we celebrate this holiday. Nothing can be more meaningful than sharing what is precious for the soul. You're the best gift that I can give, O oh Lord. From Haru Cathedral. Amen. 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 So it's about gift, no? It's about gift. Give so, away. Uh, Oh, sa, sa gospel natin gift ang ano yung gift ang 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 ano daw daw dito yung pag pag uh, pagbigay uh, ng ng anak sa kay Zechariah yes. and and Elizabeth and and that anak and that anak is uh, John the Baptist. So, yun yun ang anak. So the hand, the, the work of God, no, the, the hand of the Lord, no, ang mga mga plano ba, ang mga plano niya. Grabe, so, no? grabe ang, ang plano. So, na during the time ba na, uh, during the time, hindi mo maintindihan, bakit kaya, bakit kaya, uh, bakit kaya elderly na silang dalawa, bakit binigyan ng anak? Kaya pala, the, this couple must be very, very special mga righteous people kaya sila ang ginpick ba to be the parents of the precursor of the Messiah si John the Baptist so it's it's still about John the Baptist no yeah. <laughs> oh. looking looking at the gospel ba when we compute for the AOG of and the EDC of Saint Elizabeth and Mama Mary, it's really, it's really true even up to now. You look at the month we're in because when, when Angel Gabriel told Zachariah that uh, Elizabeth will get pregnant, will bear a son, uh, she was already. Uh, for four months, five months, five months, five months. So if you look at if you look at the the LMP of or the time when she she got pregnant, September, no, September, October, November, December. Then the the delivery or the the birth of John the Baptist was June, June, right? Oh, June 24, that's when we celebrate San Juan. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So June, so September, October, November, December. So if you count back three months, June, July, August, and add seven days, then that's really the EDC, no? Oh, oh. So, tumpak, Jude, hasta ang kang yeah. Jesus. Oh, oh. Because when in December, uh, Mama Mary was uh, gave birth. Please. So when when Angel Gabriel told that Elizabeth is already pregnant, Mama Mary went to went to her and to help her. How to help Angel her. Gabriel also said that Mama Mary will get pregnant. No, so oh. that was if, so if we count. Like, no, oh, if you count. I was saying ba, so September, so the LNP of Mama Mary must be September 18, 
because you count back three months plus seven days. So, 25 oh. December. 25 December, 25. I'm amazed talaga ako. It just dawned on me. When, you, you know what? Mass, we, we will after talk the about... Mass, ba, driving home after the simbang gabi, <laughs> nag-calculate ako, oh nga, ano... Cal cal calculation that, that's that uh, okay for, for the benefit Grabby. of those because Grabby, we, we, no? we 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 know we we uh, use uh, medical terms ba ang gina explain ni Tita Bell as a, an ob obstetrician herself <laughs> <laughs> ang gina calculate namin gina calculate ang reality what really happened and true enough i count mo it, ang it really oo oh, oh. I-count mo ang so during ko, the... Lahat-lahat. Sige, sige. Grabe ang please. Lord. No, no. Uh -oh. Grabe ang Lord. Uh -oh. Na-amaze uh -oh. talaga ako. <laughs> ang EDC na, na kwan is expected date of delivery. Ang gina-expect ng mga doktor kung ka kailan kailan ang uh, kailan ka nagkuan depende sa cycle ho, depende sa cycle no sa well of course let, let's say about this no na may biological cycle physiological cycle ng babae tapos ang mga announcement ang mga visiting of uh, announcement of uh, angel gabriel mga ganyan ba tapos i-count mo true enough ang panganak uh, for example si mama mary um um december 24 December 24 or 25 si Jesus pinanganak. Tapos going back to Elizabeth no during the announcement, tapos sabi ng Bible is 5 months pregnant siya. And then mm -hmm. i-count mo, i-count i-count mo. Ah, uh, menopausal naman si Elizabeth, no? Kaya lang menopausal. <laughs> pero okay pa rin. Oo. Oh. Oh. Pero okay Grand. pa rin. Ang okay calculation. pa rin. Ang calculation, medical calculation. Imagine. This is medical calculation from the point of view of medical and uh, of course, uh, Tita Bell is a um, obstetrician herself. So, ginakout and true enough, nandyan talaga. Tumpak, no? Tumpak uh -oh. talaga. Oo, uh oo. -oh. Uh -oh. Tapos, ang sa, ang, ang sa Our Lady of Guadalupe, di ba ang ang image ng Our Lady of Guadalupe mm. na nakita nila nagin explain nila uh, inch by inch or centimeter by centimeter ang image and then mm -hmm. na, they found out na ang belt ni Mama Mary sa sa Our Lady of Guadalupe ang belt niya is uh, uh, she was uh, yeah during the time she's pregnant tapos on mm -hmm. on her full term full term na kung, mm -hmm. that means na man, manog ano na man, 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 na Oh, mm -hmm. full term. And then uh, the the uh, the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe is uh, December. Ano nga yun? Twelve. Twelve. December twelve. So so nakita nakita so, sa thirty eight weeks yeah. Oh, term na talaga. Ter oh, oh it, it, it's <laughs> term na. That means na very soon, very soon. Um, uh, mga nak si Mama Mary. And true enough, after after two weeks lang nang anak na siya. So we can really, we can really, uh, no, no, uh, we can really connect, no, uh, the Bible really, no? and events and and ang reality. So ngayon is gina analyze natin, no, ang 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 pregnancy, ang pregnancy and talaga ano, talagang mm -hmm. the Bible is ano, the Bible. We can connect the Bible and science. Yeah. Medical. Wow. Infinite wisdom. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Thank you, Tita Bell. Hindi ko na ano ah, hindi ko. Amazed <laughs> <laughs> lang ako ba? Nag-calculate ako after the mass. O nga, ano? So, Expected then. talaga ang calculation on the top uh -oh. 10, how many, uh, two, more than 2,000 years ago. Oh. <laughs> wow. And Amazing. it's still true today. Yeah. Oh. How great is our God. Wow. Amen. So, so Amen. He, Amen. So he was, he is, and he will be. No past, no Amen. present, present, uh, no past, no, no future, present, present, mm -hmm. present, yeah. So, Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Galing Tita Bell. <laughs> no, hindi. Ang Lord ang galing. <laughs> Tita Bell, kahit naman, 
Tintabel, kahit naman po si Mama Mary, computin mo rin yung December 8, tapos pinanganak siya ng September 8. Diba? Uh, Ay, ang Immaculate Conception? Immaculate Conception. Oo, diba? Conception. December 8. Yeah. Oh, oh. September, September 8. 8. Tapos ang birthday 8. niya, September 8. So, nine months yeah. then. Nine months yeah. then. Uh -oh. 40, 40 weeks, yeah. Uh -oh. Normal pa rin. <laughs> Normal pa rin. Oh, 40 weeks. You know, the, the, the December 8 pala, that the Immaculate Conception, wrong ang, ang concept po sa Immaculate Conception. Yung Immaculate Conception, para kay Mama Mary pala para, sa, yeah, para kay sa, Mama sa pupunan ni, ano, anong, ni Saint Anne. Anne. Saint It's Anne, not Anne, Jesus. Um, because the Annunciation happened in March. March. Yes. Mm. Uh, annunciation so it's March. Mama uh, Mary from Ang Saint Immaculate Anne. Conception. Uh, uh, ang Immaculate uh, Conception. Uh, 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 alam ko yan, uh, ang Immaculate mm. Conception is uh, pertaining to Mama para, Mary. Mama para Mary. kay Mama Mary. Oh, para mm. kay Mama Mary. Oh. Tapos, uh, tapos uh, ano, um, pinanganak siya December... September. Ano, September. Uh, uh, September. Uh, 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 mm. So, i-ano mo, is nine months. Mm. Uh, so, mga happenings, yeah. no? Maano mo talaga ang uh, Bible and ano? Bible and, and science or Bible and um, medical. Uh, physiology uh, how great the lord is no oh. science even oh. medicine you cannot oh. fathom yung yung learnings natin yung quest natin for knowledge tapos galing yan sa lord no grabe jude oh, oh. The reality even, or... even what's happening to yanis no one ventricle and oh. the doctor who discovered the surgery Dr. Fontan, ang galing niya, no? Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Mga ano yan, mga gifted. Gifted oh, people. Oh, gifted. So that's the, uh, that's the extension of, God, oh, oh, of God's hands. Oh, binigay, binigay sa... Yun, yun ka, uh, maka, yun, maka ano sa how great the Lord is. Oh. Amen. Wow. Amen. 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 Ang isang sad lang no na 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 this is a, 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 about about the connection of the Bible and the the real ano no medical uh, medical uh, situation no yung yung passion passion of Jesus uh, yun, yun ang parang masakit na masakit sa sa ano mo ba sa heart mo ko ano nangyari sa kanya during that time na gin, gin crucify siya and then uh, na share ko yan noon eh um, na share ko yan noon during ano um, holy week ang medical ano medical uh, explanation of how Jesus died yun ang pinakamasakit kasi real ano yung whatever sa bible talaga makonnect mo talaga sa science and medical So, ang very, ang very sad lang ang nangyari talaga. Ang passion, passion and death of Jesus Christ. Ang crucifixion. Yun ang mga explanation na, na, na ma, ma overwhelm ka sa, sa, sa passion, sa sakit, sa pains and sufferings. Ma, ma, ma overwhelm ka talaga. For, for each and every um, minute na, na until, until Jesus died pa. Very gruesome kind of death. But according to Father Tito, that's the game changer of our salvation. Because if he did not, if Jesus did not undergo that, then salvation wouldn't have descended upon the oh, human yeah. race. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, so yun talaga ang game changer. Oh, oh. The passion and the resurrection. Oh. Of Jesus, because of his uh, passion and sufferings and death, mm. no, because of that, na redeem mm. tayo. We were redeemed. We were uh, saved. Uh, na redeem tayo, na save tayo. So everything for a reason. No? Everything for a reason. So, 
Anyway, just believe, just have faith, don't doubt, <laughs> leave everything to the Lord. Because with the Lord, everything is possible. Everything is possible. Nothing is impossible. Amen. 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 Um, piece of your thought, Tito Mani. Na siguro. Ha? Pwede na yun. <laughs> Tito Mani is still, uh, ano eh, recovering. <laughs> Approved by Tito Mani. <laughs> 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 Tita Kon, do you have something to say to add? Um uh, uh in in everything uh God's timing is the perfect time. I mean uh everything I what what you what we what we really hoped for and what we really prayed for would uh would uh if we will just wait, it will come at God's perfect time. So like Zacharias and Elizabeth, they're waiting for how many years that they would be having a child. But despite of their age and uh, Elizabeth, they were still given the the most requested na ano nila, na prayer nila na, na magkaroon ng anak. So, uh, in this world ngayon, let us not lost hope kung whatever we ask for, whatever we, we are aiming for. Uh, just hope and pray and it will come in God's perfect time. Yun lang. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Tita Kon. Um... Who else? Do you have something to say, anybody? I already, I already said my piece. I said, Amen. <laughs> amen, Tito June. <laughs> amen to your Amen, Tito June. Yeah. <laughs> That's double Amen. Na. So anyway, um, Tita Belen for the uh, closing prayer. Okay. Lord, we thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. Help us to carry these wonderful gifts in our hearts. Hear our prayers, and we offer it through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 And glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever, shall be world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Merry Christmas. We're so many. We're ten. Yeah. yeah. Praise yes. God. Hallelujah. Yeah, we are yeah, we are 10 11 mm -hmm. sana kung nandito si Father. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Pero I ten to Father. Father. Oh. Pero very nice uh, Tita Bell, thank you very much. You're very nice ano. And uh, Tita Con. Thank you everybody. Very nice uh, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Oh, I love you. Love you.